Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I have a super quick logic tutorial for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert track automation into region automation, and vice versa, I'll show you how to convert region automation back to track automation. This comes from a question asked by FLH3, and to paraphrase, uh, essentially they were saying, can you transform in-track automation to in-region automation without having to redraw or re-record? So thanks for the question, great question. And this can actually be very easily done in Logic, even if you have multiple automation parameters going on on a track. So in yesterday's video, I created this sort of stuttering synth effect using the modulator MIDI effects plugin. And I've got this loaded up on two channels now with two different sets of automation. However, each track actually has two different automation parameters. And right now this is all track automation. So what I'm gonna do is just delete everything except for the very first region since they're all the same. And then what I'm gonna do is right click or control click on the region. You can do this with the automation closed or you can open up the automation just like so. I'll right click or control click, go down to automation. And then there's two options here, move all region data to track and move all track data to region. And there are also options for move current region or track data. These can be used to only move the currently displayed automation rather than all of the automation like I'm gonna do. So this is the option I want, move all track data to region. And there is a shortcut for this as well. And what this does is it converts both of those track automation parameters into region automation parameters. And I can do the same thing with my second region down here. Again, just right click, go down to automation, move all track data to region. And vice versa, I can right click again, go to automation, and I can move all region data to track automation. A lot of people actually prefer working with region-based automation, especially for synthesizer modulation controls, and they reserve track automation for more mixing controls. So that's how you can go about that. And now what I can do is just repeat these regions by pressing Command-R a few times, and you'll see all of that region automation inside of those regions. And what's really nifty about this is if you're working in live loops, you can actually pull this over into live loops and it'll now transfer that region automation into the cell in live loops. So if I double click on this, click here to show my automation, and then you'll see that that automation is now within the region rather than being track automation that's on top of the region. So there's a lot of different reasons why you might want to use region automation, and that's one of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thanks for the support and thanks for watching.